My name is Chodin and I'm a teacher with the Mindfulness Association and I'm also a Buddhist monk based at Sami Ling. And together with Heather Regan Addis, we've been developing um, a, a master's in teaching mindfulness and compassion in partnership with the University of West of Scotland. So I wanna talk a little bit about this to give you a, a flavor and an understanding of what we are offering. So I think I'll just go through the basic structure of the program so you get an overview and then you, you can no doubt read about it in more detail. But the idea is that it's a master of science in mindfulness and compassion and it's part-time over three years. And the, the entry requirements are that you would have an undergraduate degree or equivalent professional experience and the university will judge that. So if you've been working in, um, you know, in a health context for 20 years, that'll certainly count towards professional context. So there's that requirement, plus also the requirement of having done an eight week course um, with an organization recognized by the UK Network of Mindfulness Teachers. Okay, so those are the two entry requirements, undergraduate degree, professional ex or professional experience, as well as having done an eight week course. And the key kind of aim of the program is to um, impart the skills to you so you can teach both an eight week mindfulness program and an eight week compassion program. And specifically to teach the Mindfulness Association, um, MBLC, Mindfulness Based Living Course, and the Mindfulness Association Compassion Based Living Course. So this, this degree will teach you about mindfulness and teach you to teach mindfulness and it'll teach you about compassion and teach you how to teach it if I, if I had to really get to the essence of it. And it'll also be done within a psychological context in terms of the psychology of stress and well-being. So the University of West of Scotland will focus more on that area, plus also um, imparting necessary academic and research skills. So that gives you the kind of overall idea of the course. So it's a partnership between the Mindfulness Association, University of West of Scotland, that's based in Paisley, but they have a campus at London and the course will take place in London. The one big benefit of this is that Scottish universities tend to charge less than English universities. So even though it's based in London, our our idea, our informed idea, is that it will be significantly cheaper than what English universities are charging. Um, it's due to begin in January next year, 2021, and it'll be both face-to-face -face at the London campus and online. So that's the kind of basic mode of delivery. Um, the structure of the course is, as I said before, over three years. Years one and two will be four weekends. So just to repeat, for the first two years, four weekends and a five-day retreat for each of, the, each of those years. And the, the, the course will require a regular daily practice because in order to teach mindfulness and compassion, you need to practice it in a on a regular basis, both formal and informal practice. That's one requirement. Um, there will also be tutor groups for each year with an assigned tutor, and as well as one-to-one -one, um, sessions between yourself, if you're doing the course, and your tutor. So the idea is there are different um, levels of engagement. There's the big group, there's a smaller tutor group, and there's the one-to-one -one, um, instruction and advice, you could say. There will also be online seminars uh, through the university um, online facility. And this will be more focused around the academic skills 
skills and the research skills. So I think that gives you a kind of flavor of how the, uh, the, how the degree will be taught. Maybe just to go into a bit of detail, but I don't want to overwhelm you with detail because you can read about this. So the first year, um, there will be two modules. And what we will teach in the first year is the basic mindfulness curriculum of the mindfulness association approach to mindfulness. So this is teaching you the actual mindfulness itself, which is obviously important before you teach it. Uh, and also during this year, we will, we, there will be um, teaching in generic teaching skills. So this will take place uh, over four weekends and a five-day retreat. Okay, year one, module one, module two. So, so if you had to stop at the end of year one, you would get a postgraduate certificate um, in mindfulness and compassion. And this will also enable you to teach short mindfulness and compassion sessions to clients or in, the, in your work context, okay? When we come to year two, the postgrad diploma, um, this will also be over four weekends and a five day retreat, and it'll be module three and four. What we're doing in year two is um, teaching you to teach the mindfulness-based living course and teaching you to teach the compassion-based living course. So the idea is that by the end of year two, you will have a diploma and you will then be um, authorized, uh, experienced, qualified to teach um, eight week mindfulness courses and eight week compassion courses to groups. Okay, so that's the kind of idea with year two. So moving on to year three, um, this is module five, so just one module in the last year. This will take place over two weekends and one five-day retreat. And in this module, year three, we will offer a, an advanced teaching skills module and a full comp competency assessment. So this will be a more advanced level of training in how to teach mindfulness and compassion that will enable you to register with what used to be called the UK Network of Mindfulness Teachers and is now called the British Association, BAMBA, the British Association of Mindfulness-Based Approaches. I got it right, okay? So by the end of year three, you are fully, fully equipped to teach and registered and eligible to be listed on the BAMBA listing of mindfulness teachers. As well as that, um, in year three, you will also be completing an independent piece of research uh, linking mindfulness and or compassion to a psychological theme. Um, and you will also be linking this to the broader context of teaching, because since the whole degree is about uh, teaching to teach. So this will be where the university um, will have a key input. So that gives you a kind of basic outline of how the three years uh, will look. I feel already I've said a lot and I hope it's uh, been clear enough. Um, but one thing to mention is people often ask, what is the difference between the Aberdeen masters and the new masters with UWS? Um, I've been involved, well, I've been involved in the Aberdeen one for 10 years, so to Heather, and both of us are involved in the new one. And my sense is that they are distinct and different. Uh, the Aberdeen Masters is set within a social science context, okay, whereas the UWS one is set within a psychology context. The Aberdeen one is... Um, teaching students um, mindfulness, compassion, and insight. The UWS one is just teaching mindfulness and compassion. 
one of the main focuses of the Aberdeen Masters is how to um, how to to explore how mindfulness, compassion, and insight might impact, be relevant to, add value to the, the professional context you work in. In okay, that's one of the key themes of the Aberdeen Masters, which has worked very well up to now. A kind of sub theme of the Aberdeen Masters has been some generic teaching skills, okay, but. The Aberdeen one is not really about teaching to teach, although there are some teaching skill elements, whereas the UWS one is really about teaching to teach, okay? Teaching you to teach mindfulness, teaching you to teach compassion. So I think that's the that main difference. Um, if People also ask the question, you know, if you've done one year of the Aberdeen Masters, can you transfer that to the UWS Masters? I don't think this will be possible because of the fact that the Aberdeen one is sit situated in a social science context and the other one in a psychology context. So there, there are different paradigms holding each. So I don't think it will be possible to transfer um, get credit for what you've done at Aberdeen if you wanted to shift to the UWS one. So I think they have a different remit and focus as I've tried to explain. And I don't think they compete with each other. I think they're quite complementary and um, yeah, have a different focus. So I think that's enough to say. Um, and uh, if you're interested in this course at UWS. I look forward to seeing you next year and uh, myself and Heather will be involved in teaching it and if you have what I suggest you do is that you email the Mindfulness Association if you're interested and they'll put you on a list and as more information uh, is forthcoming uh, they will send you the information. So thank you for listening to me and have a good day and hopefully see you next year, either in London at their campus or online.